everyone and welcome to another video. I finally made it to Batumi. Yes, the four day road trip has, in fact, the five day road trip has finally ended. I'm sorry I couldn't film a lot of the uh, videos in the, in the rented car that we had, which was a Toyota Prius. But that is because the drives were pretty long. In fact, up to six hours a day, it was pretty hectic. And then by the end of the day, I was too drained to film anything. Anyways, as you would have seen in the B-roll, this city is absolutely beautiful and right by the seashore. Batumi is actually the, the far west end of the country in Georgia. And we've traveled about 1400 kilometers, yes. 1400 kilometers in four days going through a lot of cities and as you would have seen in the videos we've done quite a bit of road tripping but again because this is a car channel so let me tell you something about cars this city specifically is more into mixed kind of thing where you have the hybrids as well and the normal cars not like Tbilisi where there were too many plug-in hybrids and uh, the mild hybrids but then this city is again big on german cars and also the hybrids so it's a very mixed kind of lot anyways i am still hoping that i would find some sort of crazy car either way i haven't spotted a supercar yet and a few i i have a few friends here and i spoke to them and they told me that supercar is quite rare out here so don't expect too many sightings out here because they are very small in numbers but anyways i will still hope that i can find something for you guys but until then just enjoy this fabulous city and some amazing views Probably the best find in Georgia and this is probably an M4 for the drifting and oh my god look at that and there's even the name written it's called Kursidze I don't know how do you pronounce it but oh my god that's a proper drift machine and look how wider the car is it's probably the best find from the Georgian trip for sure I mean look at that there is only a single seater and if I look closer and I don't know if you can see the handbrake there is a handbrake and a Sparco seat racing seat but what a proper proper find I'm so glad at the end of the trip I am finding this now since finally i have gotten time to show you all a bit of the georgian the place where we are at which is batumi and this is the clock tower that's the shoreline of batumi this is called as a cha cha tower where actually apparently there used to be drinks flowing from there but now it doesn't work i wish it was so that's the the, the wheel the ferry's wheel and then that is the alphabet tower if you look closely there is uh, there are alphabets written on it and there are some hotels flashy hotels and let me show you on the other side as well this has pretty much been an excellent trip and my trip is almost coming to an end and look at that fancy tower that's the sunset happening and there is a wheel inside like in between the building god knows what is that but it looks pretty fancy and all apparently Batumi is a place to go for casinos and all the casinos are lined up out there behind this building everywhere so you know where i'm heading next that's the place so it's been an awesome 10 days of georgia going around the whole country and in fact doing a road trip was the best thing to do because oh my god this is a beautiful place and the photos trust me don't do justice go and see this place because it's 
amazing in fact the weather has been a little hot but apparently this is not the summer yet it's been around 27 to 30 degrees it gets really hot between 12 and 3 4 ish but then later on right now it's become pretty pleasant now i didn't really get time to sh shoot anything today because we were just doing a lot of activities like going around watching the city because we were only here for a day and a half and we pretty much visited all of these places and this is by the way a shoreline of Batumi so make sure you come here because all the uh, the major landmarks are just all around this place and it just takes half a day to see them a few points is the country is really advanced when you think of it because they have they have absolutely nailed it in terms of electric vehicles the 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 energy consumption if you go everywhere there are solar panels installed on a lot of buildings which means that they are using a lot of solar power so in terms of the the, the technological advancements they are way ahead for sure also the people are pretty warm wherever we went there was always a warm welcome we had airbnbs and people were just taking a very good care of us with this i will end the video here and we are headed back to dubai after this which is tomorrow morning so i'm gonna end this video here with a ton of memories but a lot of car content is going to come back on this channel i hope you've enjoyed this sort of different kind of videos which was more about travel and i tried to find a lot more content about cars but unfortunately there wasn't a few that was there i tried to show you all but anyways i'm heading back to dubai and the car content is gonna get back on track so anyways give it a thumbs up if you like this video and make sure to share and subscribe for more videos to come until we meet next time, bye-bye.